I've got good news for you folks. Today, I am taking over this vlog. You know, lately, folks, uh, I personally have really got into this whole podcast scene. Never was even aware that it existed until I found this beautiful one that just, it melts my heart. The baby elk that she was hunting just seconds ago, now in her arms being groomed by her large, pink, powerful tongue. Oh, God. <laughs> you see, this wasn't a story of baby elk being killed by large beasts. Oh, no, it wasn't that kind of story. This was a story of baby elk being adopted, oh. loved, cared for, nurtured, and ultimately saved. No, ultimately loved. It's by love. a mother a lion cub. The fact that I listened to that podcast, we'll keep that between me and you, Anne. Right? We'll keep it between me and you. I've been invited uh, to one of Mikey's friends' houses. You might know Erin. She's starting a podcast. She wanted me to be in it. She's interviewing ex-convicts, which kind of a sticky situation, but I happen to be one. And I'm standing here. I've got a tight schedule, keep in mind. Ringing the doorbell nonstop. No answer. Tried calling. No answer. That's it. I'm breaking the f in. I've had it. Hello. I don't think we've ever formally met. I want to thank you for the call. It's very nice to meet yeah, you. It's very nice to meet you too. I feel a little embarrassed coming into your room like this. I've been with many a women, but this is the first time we've met. I'm getting a little hot, to be honest with you. A little hot under the collar. You had me ringing the doorbell. You didn't hear. I rang it 17 times. I counted. We'll be recording the podcast outside. You'll see a little preview of that. And uh, this is going to be live on all major platforms. Am I right? What do we watch? Excuse me? <laughs> Speak up. Yes. She's charming. Sweet. A lot of fun to be around. <laughs> So hello everyone, my name is Erin Whitmore and I uh, want to welcome you to the first episode of Convicts in Mikasa. My first guest is a former mobster from Chicago who was arrested on charges of money laundering, tax evasion, and public indecency. I have to ask, I'll get I, to I, the other charges. I think I know where this is going. But what was the uh, public indecency charge for? So I go over to uh, Willie Grapefruit's house. Willie Grapefruit's this, this big We've been through a lot of uh, crap. They're yelling at me, screaming at me. They got me pinned down. They rip off my clothes and kick me out of the house. Let me ask you, did these names, are these nicknames? Did you guys make up your names? Did you give yourselves new names? Tommy roast beef one time choked on a roast beef sandwich in okay. grade school while he was making out with a girl. Never can wait until he's done chilling. That's a, a staple of Tommy's personality. He chokes on the roast beef sandwich. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, he's just a funny guy. Wow, how did you get involved in this? This little mob life. You know, I was very good at evading the rules at Burger King. I made sandwiches without gloves on. I went to the bathroom and I didn't wash my so hands. You know, since, since getting out of prison, have you still settled down with a lucky lady? I love Tina. There's things I could say to, you know, other women that I can't say to Tina. Like, I'll leave the money on the dresser. I can't say that to Tina because it wouldn't make any sense. To all my listeners out there, I want to thank you for tuning in. And there will be another podcast coming out shortly, so stay, stay tuned. Well, the podcast is done here. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming. No, Frankie, I'll, honestly, dude, I, I, I don't like that you did that. No, I really don't. I told you I don't like you hanging out with my friends, number one. What's the big deal? I want to make a podcast. 
and, and number two, you got the idea for the podcast for me. I started the podcast and think first. And I'm the one who recommended you to, 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 to listen to them. Like you're overreacting here. No, dude, I, here's the thing, Frankie. I feel like all of a sudden your priority has gone from helping me grow to helping yourself grow. It's not becoming like about you. Like this whole thing is just becoming about you and you just, every chance you get, you just bash I'm me. I'm joking around, like it's not a big deal. If you want to leave me, leave me, Frankie. Yeah, maybe go ahead, I'll find someone else. I don't need you. Okay, go ahead, find someone else. But don't else. make me look stupid. I don't like that. I'm making you look stupid. I'm not okay, you look joke stupid. around that I'm weak and I'm vanilla. That's all fun and games. That's funny, but you know deep down I'm not. It's a joke, Mike. You think it's So don't take advantage of me, Frankie. I'm not taking advantage of you. Bye. You know what? Bye to you too. No, I'll, yeah. Bye see to you, ya. Mikey. Maybe not. Yeah, but maybe we'll see each other again. Kidding me.